and welcome or welcome back to the channel if you are new here i am crystal and i would love it if you would subscribe if you can tell from the title of the video this is going to be a shop my stash so if you want to see what all i pick out and do some swatches then keep watching all right friend we are going to start off in the primer drawer and i do want to bring a little recognition to my nails in honor of valentine's day i did do some pink and girly nails with heart and love because i love you guys and this is what it's looking like they are a little bit different for me but i am enjoying them and gotten a few compliments so i think they're cute they'll they'll get us through the month um, but yeah, we're going to start off in the primer drawer. Primer is the first thing I do in my makeup application. And I think I'm going to do at least three primers for sure. At least three primers. I know I want to do a primer that is a moisturizing primer. I don't, or hydrating primer, I should say. I don't really have that many hydrating primers in my collection because I am typically an oily girl. However, this time of year, I have been quite dry. And I think I need something hydrating. And I'm going to go with this. This is the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer. So I haven't used this before. And um, yeah, we'll be giving this a test and see if it really does help. It says it's a three-in-one moisturizing primes and perfects. So, okay. Oh, it says hydrating primer lotion. I don't really like primers that be feeling like lotion, but we'll get it and we'll probably have to mix it with another primer. So, we'll start with this one. All right, friend. Next, we're going to look for a mattifying primer. And... um yeah a mattifying primer and a high-end primer so i guess we can pull this out as our high end this is the urban decay all nighter i don't think it is mattifying but we shall see we're going to pull this one out i also want to pull this elf jelly pop dew primer doesn't have really anything on the back i don't remember what the claims are but i've never used it it's been in my collection for a while so we will pull this one out i also need a primer that can do something with my pores so i am wanting to pick out a primer for pores and i think this may be it this is the um dr brent pore refining primer so yeah we'll pick this one out too i also have been wanting to try this one this is the ulta beauty primer spray it said it's moisturizing just in case those primers are a little bit too matte hopefully this one will help balance everything out so we'll pull this out this month as well next we're going to go with a setting spray and i do want to pull out quite a few because um, I need to be using these things, okay? So I know I want to pull out one of the continuous setting mist. So we'll pull this one out from Morphe. Um, I think this is just a regular one. It's just in a holiday packaging that I picked up a while back. So we'll go with this one. I also want to pick out a primer from the drugstore. So I think these are some good choices. So Maybelline or L'Oreal. Let me just read and see what they say they do. Um, locks in makeup, makeup extender. So this one says it helps with texture. It sets your face and post makeup. That's not really telling me anything. I just don't want one that's going to be mattifying because, I mean, maybe I should pull out a mattifying, but let's go with Maybelline. We'll just do Maybelline, okay? We'll just do that and then let's find a mattifying one, I guess. So since I pulled out the Urban Decay primer, I think I should pull out an Urban Decay setting spray. So I see these two right on top. Um, I don't think I want to use this one because it's ultra matte and 
I don't know why I bought this. Okay, I just be buying this to be buying stuff. I don't need an ultra matte. I'm not that oily. So we're going to save that for the summertime and maybe it'll get some use. But for now, we'll just pull out the D-Slick. And then I'm going to go with this as well. This has been in my collection for a while. It's from e.l.f. It's the Mineral Mist. Sometimes I just need one that I can go overboard with. And I've been having this one for a while. And I'm just going to pull it out and try to get as much use out of it as I can. So we'll go with this one. It says it replenishes and revitalizes the skin. So maybe I can use it like as a touch-up kind of spray. So we'll go with that and we'll see what we think about it this month. Okay, do I need one more? I feel like I need one more, friend. One more. Do we want to go with this one? I have two drugstore and one high end do i want to pick out another high end maybe i should pick out a mac okay i have quite a few of these little mac ones so maybe i should pull out a mac and just to get some use out of it we'll go with this mac and it's in the lavender fragrance so yeah four setting sprays that should be good okay here is the eyeshadow palette drawer and I think I want to go with something cute and Valentine's and pink and girly. But I feel like all the last few looks I've been doing have been those colors. So I kind of want to do something different. Maybe I should do something with some purples. Is purples Valentine's colors? I don't know. I think I'm going to go with something with some purples. That actually looks pretty good with all those pinks in there this is the rimmel crimson edition she's cute she's cute what do you think about her friend maybe okay i think i'll pull her and then we're gonna look for some purples okay i remember having like a morphe palette that had some purples in it um so but i think it's in my other drawer we'll go to the other drawer in a minute but let's look at this. This is the um, Anastasia palette. And the packaging is just purple. But I don't know if the Norvina had any purple colors in here. Let's just see. Oh, okay. The Norvina may work. Okay, we're going to pull her. She has some nice purple colors. I think she'll be cute. I'm going to go with the Norvina. I'm excited about trying her. Let me make sure I put her brush back in there. So, the Novena. We're going to do some swatches at the end. I'm looking for pinks and purples. Okay, friend? I also think I should finally use my Patrick Ta palette. I'm trying not to blind you. Um, this is the Major Dimension 2 palette. And it has some nice pink colors in it. So... I think for sure we're going to go with her. Isn't she gorgeous? So gorgeous. We're going to go with her. And then, do I want another one from this drawer? I feel like, um, well, that's three. That's three. I may be okay. I might be okay. We're just going to go with these three from this drawer. And then we'll move to the bottom drawer. Okay, this is eyeshadow palette drawer number two. And I know I had a Morphe palette that had some purples in it. This one is the Artistry 9J. Let me see. Try not to blind you. Yep. This is the one I was thinking about, friend. This is what it looks like. Some nice, pretty purple colors. I got this as a Christmas gift from one of my friends. And... We're going to pull this one out for Valentine's. So that's that one. So we're at one, two, three, four palettes now. So maybe one more palette. One more palette. I think I'm doing the most. Okay, am I going to even wear this many faces? I don't know. I don't know, but I want to be on the safe side. And so we're just going to play in makeup all month. Maybe I'll pull out this one. This is the Violet Voss Rose Party or Rose Party. And, oh, I don't want to blind you, but look at those colors. Now, these are some soft, pretty, you know, little, 
pretty girly color so I think I'll pull out this one just to kind of balance out all those purples so yeah we'll go with this one all right next we are in the loose powder drawer I know that I want to try a drugstore in a high end I want to try one that I haven't used before so maybe one that's still in some packaging do they even make this anymore this is from NYC I don't think NYC is in business anymore um yeah it's just a translucent skin face loose powder I don't know we're just gonna try it just so we can see if it'll stay in the collection or go I've had it for a while still in the wrapper so yeah it's time to crack her open and give her a go also I think I want to crack open the Sephora translucent powder oh this drawer is a little bit heavy so it's falling so let me hurry up um, I'm gonna try this Sephora translucent setting powder been hearing great things about it been in my collection for a while it's time to crack her open too and then maybe I should pick one more I want one that's kind of on the yellow side so maybe we'll go with this Morphe in Banana Rich have I used this one recently I don't know I'm feeling like I have used that one have I used this one friend I don't know um, what are these little mini ones no I know I've used this one recently I'll keep it I'll keep these we'll go with these and we'll just see how they go for the month all right friend moving on to highlighters and then also I do have some cream blushes in this drawer so we're gonna pick out a highlighter first um I don't really highlight every time I do makeup so we're gonna do just two highlighters and um, I know I haven't used this one in a while this is the LA girl strobe light powder comment down below do you remember when this came out we were all excited about it because we didn't have that many highlighters in the drugstore so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out show it some love this month also i think i want to pull so that's a drugstore do i have any high-end highlighters in here um i guess really becca is really all the high-end that i have so maybe i'll go with her this is the becca topaz so we'll pull her we'll definitely do some swatches at the end so yeah two highlighters is definitely plenty 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 now moving on to blush we are going to go with a cream blush i think two my plan is to do five blushes this month okay we're gonna just be out here putting faces together and i want to do five blushes and i want three of them to be or two of them to be cream that's my plan and i think i need to go with some pink colors because I'm gonna have like some pink eye looks and I'll probably pull out some pink lippies so I should go with some blushes with pink or pink undertone definitely don't want to do any like you know terracottas or anything like that so let's look for some pinks this is the luminous putty blush by elf and what color is this this is in the color saint bots and um that's what saint bots look like i think we'll pull it we're gonna pull it and we'll just see what it looks like and we'll do swatches at the end can i get it closed okay so that's one for sure and i think these two from morphe i think these have like some plummy type of um colors to them so I think we'll do this one. Ooh, she's pretty. She's pretty. Maybe, maybe. Let's open up the other one and see what it looks like. She's pretty too, but I think I want to go with the Wild Wine. I think Wild Wine is going to make the cut this, this go round. And do I want to try any more? These right here are really cute and um pink this one is anyway this one looks more 
terracotta like so let's go with this one do we have all do i need a high end one um i really don't have a high end you know what maybe this um maybe this cream blush from fenty rose latte and no rose latte she's not really recently purchased the new fenty blush i just had to put her in the blush drawer so i still have her over to the side let me pull her out and we're going to show her some love she just hadn't made her way to her home yet so this is the fenty beauty the um the double cheeked up blush i've recently purchased this i have, have hauled it if you haven't seen the haul i will link it for you in the cards but this is the one that has the two pinks in it so i think this will be perfect to pull out for valentine so we're gonna go with that so that's technically four blushes already but we're gonna still pick out a couple of powder blushes so let's move to that drawer okay here we are in the powder drawer i think for sure i need to use something from milani so let's just kind of look through them and see if we can find one that's pink or maybe purple oh i know a purple one i have a purple one in mind it's not milani but um let's just see if any of these if i can get them out okay this is the baked blush and it's in fantastical mauve i think we'll give fantastical mauve a go that's what she looks like nice and purpley and plummy so that's cute friend i think we're gonna be looking real cute this month and i did purchase a mac blush recently that i haven't used yet and it's a purple like color too Am I getting carried away with the purples? I think I'm okay to do purples in the powder because all the creams are like pink. This is the one I was talking about. It's called Breath of Plum. It's a sheer tone blush and this is what it looks like. It's looking purpley and it's called Plum. So I think we're going to go with this. I don't know what these looks going to look like. I don't, I don't know, but we're going to go with it. The other blush I was thinking about is back far in my collection. It's all the way in the back and you probably cannot see. But let me try to move all of this stuff out of the way. Okay, I think this is the one I was thinking about. It's called Sweet Mulberry. And if I'm thinking right, this one has like some purple like colors. Yeah, we're going to go with this Sweet Mulberry it's nice and plummy and it's kind of looking like this mac do they look the same mm, not really but in the same family so we're gonna pull these i think this is gonna be a good beautiful a beautiful month with blushes so we're gonna go with these and now we have plenty plenty of blushes all right, friend, this is the foundation drawer. I have been thinking about this foundation that has been in my collection for quite a while, have never used it, and now I'm finally gonna use it. However, she's come out with another foundation. This is the Kat Von D or KVD Good Apple Foundation. Y'all remember when this came out, right? I got it in 1068. If you know me, you know I have a hard time finding my foundation shade. This looks like it's going to be too dark. So we're going to have to work some magic with concealer. But I'm definitely going to pick this out just so I can see if I like it. And if I want to get her newest one that just came out. So this is going to be the first foundation we go with. I think I want to pick out four foundations is what I'm thinking and um, I want some light coverage, some full coverage, some matte, some dewy. You know, I want a little bit of everything, okay? So I think I want to try these tinted foundations, I guess. What is it? Yeah, just tinted foundation. It's from LA Girl. 
I'm going to pull out both of these because I'm not sure what color I need. But I have it in caramel and bronze. So between the two of these, something should work. Hopefully, if not, we're going to bronze it up and make it work. Okay, you guys know I can pull a rabbit out of a hat when it comes to getting this foundation together. So that is a high end and a drugstore. So let's pick out another high end. I think I want to go with this one. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. The color is way off, friend. I'm going to be doing all kind of magic this month because this is in the color Y513. And I got it on sale at some point for a good price. I think $10, maybe $15. I don't remember, but I picked it up because it was a good deal. And the color is way off. So we're going to have to mix, 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 mix. So for sure, we're going to pull this just so we can see. And if it's too much to do all this mixing, I may end up decluttering it. I'm not sure. I also want to try, I guess I need another drugstore. So let's move to the other drawer and see if we can find a drugstore in that one. If not, we'll come back to this drawer. So let's go to drawer number two. All right, drawer number two in the foundation drawer. And I think I want to try a drugstore that I have not tried before. I'm sure I have plenty in my collection. I may go with this one. This is the Pro Matte from LA Color. It's in gold and bronze. Still in the packaging. Okay, I got to stop buying stuff and not using it. This is brand new still in the package and never opened it so we're going to pull her out and give her a go this month so that is four foundations i think we have plenty let's move on to concealers okay friend this is the concealer drawer aren't you so proud of me if you looked at my last month shop my stash i had a whole lot more than this i have decluttered and decluttered and decluttered and i got rid of 30 concealers so i'm proud of me i hope you're proud of me and um you know we just got room to buy more stuff but we're going to use what we got first okay um i do think i want to pull out this mac it is the studio fix concealer and i have it in nc43 so we're going to pull this for sure. I think I want to do two drugstore and two high end. I think I want to try this one as my drugstore. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Concealer. I have it in 34.5. So we're going to go with this one. I am getting very excited about this Shop My Stash. Getting ready to try out some new products. I'm just so excited. I know I want to try out a OD and a goodie. It is the LA Colors. Let me find these LA Color Concealers. It is the, where are they? Okay, I had to dig through the collection, but I'm going to pull out these. These are the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers, and these were you know all we had back in the day and i have it in color fawn and warm honey we're gonna pull these two just to see if we still love her like we used to so we're gonna go with these i'm gonna do some swatches i am so excited about the swatch part of the video so make sure you stay tuned to the end give me a thumbs up if you like shopping through the collection with me and me just doing my little commentary on why i'm picking what i am picking let me know, friend. Let me know. I mean, I like long videos. If you like long videos, let me know. But if I need to quit talking so much, I can do that too, okay? Um, but back to the concealers. I think I need another high end. My high ends live in this area, okay? So, do I want to pick out... I know I just bought this. I just bought this and I kind of want to use that. But I kind of want to use something that I've had for a while. 
and um you know i need to decide if she stay or if she go okay we're gonna go with this this is the urban decay naked concealer i have it in 60 in in i think i purchased this one recently as well and i picked up a backup because they went on clearance like i just got two of them so i want to go ahead and see if i like it while i'm picking up multiple ones so we're going to go ahead and pick this one out give it a go and i feel like it's light enough to give me a good highlight so yeah we'll go with this one okay moving on to compact powders again friend if you know me i don't know my colors and a lot of these powders are too dark and um yeah they probably could all be bronzers at this point we're gonna pull this Too faced okay it's in the color maple i think maple may be a little too dark i am doing this one-handed because i couldn't get my tripod together up here so i am standing on a stool so hopefully this turns out okay this is what maple looks like she might be okay she may be okay i was thinking that she was going to be too dark but she's looking okay in the pan so we're going to go with maple and we shall see what she looks like and i'm going to be extra careful so i don't fall off this stool um so that's a high end i really only need like two powders. i don't think i need that many powders i think two powders is plenty and I have that high end, so now I'm just looking for a drugstore powder to go with. And um, I'm not sure what I want to go with. Maybe this. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder. I ended up getting this on clearance at um, on Amazon. It's in the color 95 Coconut. I know that's going to be too dark. She's not going to work. Let's leave her in here. Let's try. Let's try one of these. So these are the maybelline super stay i picked up two colors because i think one is too light one is too dark have these two in the color coconut and golden caramel we're gonna pull these and see if we can make these work so definitely have enough powders let's move on to bronzers okay friend final drawer is bronzers and i feel like i always play it safe with bronzers but this month i feel like just being real bold and dramatic and we're gonna go bold and dramatic so let's see what we can find i'm gonna pull out this l'oreal infallible bronzer and it's in the shade dark so we're gonna go with this one i don't know if she's gonna be as bold and dramatic as i was thinking i was thinking more of a coco naughty type of bold but i feel like i've used her recently so i don't want to pull her out again let's go with one of these oh she's broken so let me be careful with her this is the covergirl full spectrum bronzer in the color ebony okay ebony may be a little bit bold a little bit more bold than what i'm thinking so mm, i'm getting nervous now that i done pulled it out but we're going to keep it and I think I need one more that's maybe not as bold just in case I feel like I need a subtle bronzer. So let's go with, I think I've used that Kylie recently. I mean, when I say recently, friend, I mean like in the last year. I, I know, I know I've used it in the last year, so I don't want to pick that one um okay how about a cream bronzer i was thinking about this anastasia because i just recently hauled it but i think i want to save that one to do a trying out new bronzer video so let's save that one and let's just go with this one this is the lys um bronzer and it's in current just pull her for the cream bronzer i think we have enough we're gonna go with that let's put it all together and do some swatches okay, friend, we are just going to jump right in with the swatches i didn't bring you along with me to pick out the lippies i apologize i completely forgot to pull out lippies and then 
I had everything all set up and didn't bring you back with me, but no worry, we're gonna swatch them. I did decide to go with some pinks and purples. I know pink and purple is not the typical Valentine colors. I guess everyone goes for red, but when I pulled out that purple blush, it just had me absolutely smitten and in love with purples and pinks. So this is what we're gonna go with. I am going to swatch them all for you. And we'll go with the purple ones first because I'm most excited about them. Some of these items I've had for a while, so I'm sorry I'm not gonna be able to link it below, um, but just enjoy the swatches. This first lip color is from City Color. And I'm not even sure if they're still in business anymore, but the color is called One Night Stand. And again, I'm going to swatch the lipstick for you. This is what it looks like. If you can see the little heart, how Valentine is that? Okay, that is so cute and so Valentine. So um, we're just gonna swatch here. We'll just do the lippies here and then make sure we have room for other things. That is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited about putting some looks together. Next is this matte lip color. It's a lip gloss, but it's a matte formula. It's from Clean Color, and the color is Untamed. I haven't worn matte lipstick in a minute, so I definitely wanted to pull out a matte lipstick, and it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I like this one because the stain power, if you can still get these um, lip glosses from Clean Colors, I recommend because once you put them on your lips, they are on there, okay? This is what it looks like. This next one is a lip gloss from Almay and it's in the color Lilac Love. And I got this to be kind of um, just a topper maybe if I wanna get a little gloss to my lips. So let's just swatch Lilac Love. She's kind of sheer, but I'm here for it. I'm here for it. That's what she is looking like. So cute, so cute. The last purple is from Wet n Wild. This was one of the mega slicks. I don't know if Wet n Wild still makes these or not. Go to Walgreens, they may still make them, but this one's called 2 a.m. Call Time. 2 a.m. call time and this is what 2 a.m. call time look how creamy these lip glosses are is it a lip gloss what is it called it's called a balm stain and absolutely gorgeous i love these i cannot wait to wear these purples this i'm going to show you the purple lip liners that i have to go with these and then we'll move on to the pinks okay so i did pick out three lip liners and didn't realize until now that they're all Nika K. You can get Nika K at your local beauty supply store. I think these were all like a dollar each. Um, so I need to get some more colors of lip liners. I typically wear like browns, but I didn't want to do browns. I just pulled out some colors. So all of these are the Nika K auto lip liner. This one's in the color indigo. And if I remember right, Indigo is quite dark. Yeah, she's quite dark. Um, people compared this to Night Moth, I think, by MAC. So that's what Indigo looks like. I will zoom in and let you see once I get them all swatched. This next one is in Dark Orchid. And let's see what Dark Orchid looks like. She's pretty, she's pretty, okay. It's gonna look gorgeous with those lipsticks. And then the last one I have here is called Persian Pink. Persian Pink, um, let's just see what Persian Pink looks like. I was thinking maybe she can go with this lip gloss here, but let's just give her a swatch. That's Persian Pink. Mm, maybe, maybe on one of those days where I just want to wear this lip gloss. I can put this lip liner with it because she wouldn't really be dark enough for any of these other ones. But that's what all of the lippies look like. You can see. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I cannot wait to be all about the purples this month. 
Okay, on to the pinks. All right, now moving on to the pinks. I did the same. I picked out four lippies with three lip liners. The purple did stain my hand a little bit, so I have to be pretty quick with wiping these off before it stains. But we're just going to jump in with the pinks. This is a lipstick by Wet n Wild, and it's called Smooth Mauves. I have had this for such a long time and I have never opened it. So I'm going to open it and we're going to swatch it and she's going to get some love this month. And it's called Smooth Mauves. Here is what the mauve looks like. Very cute. I like it. I like it. You have to be careful with these tops with Wet n Wild. That's the one thing that we used to talk about all the time in the beauty community, these tops get dirty quite fast. So you gotta be careful with putting the lid back on. But I think she's gonna be very cute for Valentine. Next, I pulled out the Fenty Lip Cream and it's in the color Bubble Bling. Really cute and bubblegummy. <laughs> so let's watch this her. This is what the Fenty Bubble Bling looks like. I think it's cute. She's kind of looking like that one from Almay a little bit, but okay. Next is another lippy. This is from Elf. It's a lip plumping gloss. Again, brand new. Haven't opened it. Haven't worn it. This is in Sparkling Rose. Let's give a Sparkling Rose a swatch. She is kind of given, given that Owl May as well. I think this one is more like the Owl May, not the Fenty. I think that one is more like what the Owl May was looking like. And then the last one in the pink family that I pulled out is this Buxom. And it's in the color Dolly Glam Martini. This is what it looks like. And we are just going to give it a swatch. I think I'm going to swatch it on the other side of this wet and wild. Okay. All these pinks are looking like a little bit, but it's okay. We are just going to give each one a fair turn during the month, but gorge, gorge. The lippies that I picked out, the first one is from JCAT and it's just in the color RAL 101. I guess that's the color. Let me see if it has, oh, Amaranth. Can you see that, friend? Um, however you say that. That's the name of this one. It's just pink. So let's just give it a swatch. Oh, she's pretty. She's pretty. She can go with any of these lippies here. This next one is from ColourPop. And it is I Heart This. I felt like this was so appropriate for Valentine's. I Heart This. So I had to. I had to, friend. I had to pick her out and let her get some love this month. She is gorgeous. I really like her. The last lip liner I picked out is from Nika K. And it's in the color Deep Pink. Deep Pink is the color. And this is what deep pink looks like. Friend, all these are so cute. Look at all these, friend. I'm trying to get the angles right so you can see it without the glare. Can you see it? Okay, let me zoom up. Is that a better swatch? Those pinks are gorgeous. Gorge, gorge. I'm so excited about the lip combos we're going to do this month. Okay, so now we'll go back in our order. We start with the primers when we do our face. This is the Heart Candy Hydrating Primer. And this is what it looks like. I'm just going to show you these a little bit closer since you may have not seen them when I was pulling them out. Just in case it's something that you may want to try or if you have it in your collection, you may want to pull it out and use it this month with me. I also pulled out the e.l.f. Jelly Pop. It's a dewy primer. The Dr. Brandt Pores No More. 
aqua refining primer this is a good primer i had a sample of it a while back in an ipsy bag and it was really good and it goes on sale quite often at ulta during the 21 days of beauty so be on the lookout if you have pores and you want to hide them try to get this next time it goes on sale and then the last primer i pulled out was the urban decay all nighter so four different primers we're gonna see how well they mix with our foundations next we'll pull out the setting sprays we went with the mac and it's in lavender just kind of funny how i'm just gravitating to purples i didn't realize this lavender you know kind of got this little purple hint up to it <laughs> i am really loving purples this month so we pulled out lavender we also have the morphe continuous setting spray and again this is just the original one just in the holiday packaging so that's that we also pulled out this elf mineral mist this is just on those days where I need to refresh or sometimes if I put too much powder and I start looking dry, I may spray over it a couple of times with this. So that's the plan for that. Next is the Urban Decay D-Slick. Um, it's supposed to, you know, control your oils and keep you from being slick. So we're going to give it a try as well as the Maybelline Master Fix. And then I'll be able to see how these drugstore compare to some of the higher end. All right, friend, now we're gonna move on to foundations. And for the sake of time, I did go ahead and swatch everything out already. I'll just show you what it is and the swatch on my arm. This first one is the Good Apple, KVD Good Apple. I do have it in the shade Tan 068. Um, this is my first time opening it and swatching it, and um, I'm not sure what I think about the color. It is a little orange, but I think I can fix that with some concealer. So that's what it looks like, tan 068. I did like the consistency of it though, so I'm excited to try that one. The second one is the LA Girl Pro and it's in the color golden bronze and it was a little oily so i had to shake it up really good so that just makes me think mm, how's it going to perform on the face i don't know but we shall see this is the color again orange i am so neutral that all of these are going to be looking orange on me and we have to make some magic with concealer this next one I thought was going to be darker than what it is, but it's, I mean, it's darker, but I think I can make it work. This is the Makeup Forever, and it's in the shade Y513. That's what Y513 looks like, this third one here. These next two are looking like they may be the winners as far as the color matches, and they're these, the LA Color or LA Girl Tinted Foundation. This first one here is the Caramel. And then the second swatch here is the Bronze. So actually I think either one of these will work for my skin tone. So I may end up mixing one of these with some of these to make the color work. Or I'll just pull out my pigments and we'll fix it. So. Yeah, this is all of the foundations for the month. All right, friend, next we're going to move on to concealers. I did pick out four concealers. I think that was all. Yeah, just the four. So um, no particular order. We'll start with this Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. I picked it up in the shade 60NN. This is what it's looking like. Again, I'm going to be using it to highlight with so i feel like it's a good bright enough color to do some highlighting so so far so good with the concealers um next is this mac 24 hour studio fix concealer i have it in nc 43 
and this is what it looks like i never hear anybody talk about this one they always talk about the other one from mac i have that one too but i think i like this one better maybe because it's the right color for highlighting i have nc45 but it's more my skin tone it's not really for highlighting and this nc43 is a really good highlighting concealer as you can see i like it i like it it's um a little yellow, but I like it nonetheless. These two right here are oldies and goodies. These are the LA Girl Pro. Majority of my things I picked out is LA Girl Pro. I don't know how that happened, but um, yeah, we got a lot of LA Girl Pro. This is not a sponsored video, okay? Um, LA Girl Pro, if you watch it and you want to sponsor me, you know, send me some products. <laughs> But we have it in the color Warm Honey and Fawn. So let me swatch these for us. This is the LA Girl Pro. The top one is the Warm Honey. The bottom one is the Fawn. Let me make sure that's right. Yes, Warm Honey is on the top, Fawn's on the bottom. The Warm Honey has a peachy undertone. The Fawn was more like my skin tone. And I couldn't really use it for highlighting, but... We're gonna see, um, we're gonna see. The peach may work for us, I don't know, we'll, we'll just see. And then the last concealer is this one from Sephora. It is the best skin ever. I have it in 34.5 neutral. She's new to the collection, I haven't opened her up. So let's just crack her open and get us a swatch and we're gonna see this one seemed like the best match for me to highlight with and i think i did good friend and i love this doe foot okay other concealers you have to have this doe foot these big doe foots you can't go I, I can't go back we need these big doe foots on all lip glosses and all concealers okay but this is the color beautiful it's going to be a perfect highlighting concealer but yeah, that is the concealer. Next, we'll move on to the face powders. I did pick out these three. I have the Too Faced in the color Maple. And then I have two of the Maybelline Superstay. I have Coconut and this one is Golden Caramel. Um, let's start with the Too Faced. This is what it looks like. And it's in maple. I am going to swatch it. I'm trying not to blind you. So let me just swatch maple and we'll see what it looks like. I like the um, consistency. It's like so lightweight and smooth. Okay, um, Too Faced born this way. I like the consistency of that. I'm not sure. You can see the color match, but the texture, it just feels so, so smooth. Okay, Maybelline, y'all got some some competition. What y'all got, okay? Um, let's swatch Maybelline. This is in Golden Caramel, and let's just swatch her. Um, she's not as smooth as the Too Faced, but she's going to do... Oh, I got to get some scissors for her, but... Let's just swatch this one. You can't really see it on my arm. So, I mean, maybe that's a good thing. It'll be my skin tone. We shall see. Let me open up this one and then we'll give it a swatch. I took the plastic off of this one. So now let's give it a swatch and see what we think about it. I think I'm gonna have to mix these two. I'm not sure. Let's just see. Yeah, I knew one was going to be darker and I felt like one is too light, but I don't even feel that that one may actually be the perfect one because it blended right into the skin. But if you can see, that's the Too Faced and this is the Too uh, Maybelline. So yeah, let's move on. Okay, moving on to setting powders. I did pick out three from the collection. Two of these had never been opened before and I just opened them up today. And even this Morphe is new to my collection. I did purchase it in my last Morphe haul, I think, or 
last two Morphe hauls, so I haven't used it. So all three of these are going to be brand new that we're trying. This is the NYC Smooth Skin. It's just in a translucent color. And let's just see. I mean, there's not really much to see. It's just a white, just a white powder, if you can see that. So translucent, I just wanted to see what it looked like on the inside. Nothing, you know, to, to write home about. It's just a powder. And then this is the Sephora. It's also in translucent. And let's just open it up just to see what she looked like on the inside. And okay, I mean, she didn't give me one of them sponges. I don't use it anyway, but you know, I just be used to seeing them in there, but I guess I don't need it. But yeah, you can see the color of it really good. I cannot wait. This will probably be the first one I use because I've been hearing such good things about it. And then the last one is the Morphe and it's in banana. And this is what the banana looks like. Just a yellow, yellow powder. Might be a little bit too yellow. We may be mixing it, but we shall see. That's the the powders. Nothing, nothing that exciting about them, but yeah, just wanted to show you up close what we had. Next, we're going to move on to the highlighters. And once again, LA Girl is making an appearance in this monthly Shop My Stash. This is the highlighter in 20 watt. And this is what 20 watt looks like. I haven't worn it. I've only swatched it when I first bought it. And it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's what it looks like. I don't think the camera is doing it any justice. Um, she's gorgeous. Let me let me do another little swatch. Maybe maybe she need a little bit more. And I, I don't know. I mean, she's not giving 20 watt. Becca right beside it. You see Becca. Becca say, I am here to be shiny and bling and bling, okay? Becca is blingy. I'm happy to have one that's blingy and one that's more subtle. And this one is actually looking like it has kind of a pinky undertone. I wasn't expecting that, but I think it'll go well with the blushes that I picked out. So I'm good with these. I'm good with these. We'll, we'll see. All right, moving on to bronzers. I did go with these three bronzers. I feel like I have everything I need in bronzers this month. I feel like this is going to be good, but let's just swatch it and let's just see. Um, I'm going to go with this one first since it's the most dramatic. This is the Full Spectrum by CoverGirl and it's in the color Ebony. This is what it looks like. I don't want to flip it upside down because uh, it's broken, but it's in the color Ebony, okay? And let's open up Ebony ever so carefully. And then we're going to give her a swatch. Ebony, Ebony is bronzing, okay? You you came to bronze with Ebony. Let me let me just show you. Oh, she's I'm losing some of her. Okay, here's Ebony. That swatch did no justice. Okay, let me let me try it again. I'm trying to be gentle with her because she's broken. And um let me let me do let me do her justice, okay? Let me swatch a little bit more. Did that do any justice, friend? I mean, Ebony is cute, okay? Ebony is cute, and she is bronzing, and I'm here for Ebony, so I think she's cute. You just got to wait to see her on the face, and then you'll get the the full, you know, you'll, you'll be able to see what she can do when she in action, okay? Um, let's move on to L'Oreal. Oh, okay. I thought I hadn't opened it up, but I did open it and swatch it. I have not worn her. So this L'Oreal is in the color dark. She's just in the color dark. This is what she looks like. And that's the dark. She's cute. She's cute. I am so pleased with both of these. The Ebony has a little bit of shimmer in her. You see the little glitter particles? I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. But the L'Oreal is just matte. Okay, so just matte. I'm, I'm happy with both of these. I did good this month. So good, so good. Let's move on to the LYS. And it's in the color Courage. And let's see what it looks like. 
um okay um yeah let's just swatch courage oh okay not what i was expecting hold on let me put her back up not what i was expecting i don't know what i was expecting but whatever it was it, I, I am i'm happy with what i got and she blends out good okay this is a good bronzer month friend do you see these bronzers these bronzers are good okay we're gonna be so cute and so bronzed and so cute okay let, let's move on let's move on but i'm happy i'm happy with the bronzers okay friends some not so fun things that i'm going to show because i want to show you everything that's in my stash i forgot to show you this with the primers this is the ulta beauty moisturizing primer spray so we are going to give this a try i think i'm going to just kind of use this with all the other primers just kind of use the cream one first and then spray this on it so we got this for eyeshadow primers i pulled out these two this is the lorac behind the scenes eyeshadow primer and then the amuse cosmetics eyeshadow primer it's just a cream and it's in clean slate and this is what it looks like just a nudie color so we're gonna go with both of these primers because that was part of my beauty resolutions to always use a primer with eyeshadow so we have these two and then all of these are going to be for the eyebrows well not this this is the aoa skinny mascara let me show you this wand friend because this wand when it says skinny mascara it's really skinny okay i'm trying to use this for my bottom lash look how skinny this wand is you see very skinny and it's going to be perfect for the bottom lashes because right now i always like get makeup on my face when i try to do the bottom lash so i did purchase this and we're going to give it a try and then brows okay brows the brows all these items it's going to be new for me to combine them all together this is a old elf eyebrow pencil it looked dirty and nasty but i'm using it and um it's in the color deep brown deep brown and this is what it looks like we had this back in the day when we didn't have any eyebrow pencils this is what elf gave us and um it was okay it was okay so i'm gonna try it and see if it's gonna stay or go in the collection and may go we, we shall see and then this is the Rimmel Brow This Way. And I have it in the color Dark. And it's kind of like that e.l.f. It's a big, thick pencil. And um, I have a couple of these. I don't know why I ended up with so many. I got like three of these. So I wanted to see if I like it. If I like it, I will keep it. If not, I'm gonna get rid of all three of them. So yeah it's not looking deep but i was thinking that i can do this in the front of the brow and then this darker one at the end of the brow so we'll see this is the black radiance and it's like a brow pomade i really like this because the top has a little brush and then the bottom is where you get the pomade i'm sure you have seen something like this before that's what it looks like you just kind of dip your brush in here. It don't take much at all. And then you just kind of put it on your brows. It's a pomade. So I'm thinking it might be like the Anastasia dip pomade. Um, and I do have that. I haven't used it yet. But I want to use this just so I can see what I think about it. I've gotten so used to using pencil. So we shall see. We shall see. And then this friend. This is kind of got me scared to use it but it is a brow gel and it comes from a color called i mean a company called malibu glitz and it has a little brush on here let me open it let's just see that brush is feeling a little mm, i mean it might be okay let's let's just see and i'm thinking that you just Oh, okay, just squeeze a little bit out. 
I'm sure it just takes a little, a little bitty dot because a little typically goes a long way with products like this. So you just put this on there and paint. Ooh, we gonna see. I am all about using these products and trying things that I have never tried before. So this is what all of the brow products looks like this month. So wish me luck, friend. We're gonna see what these brows look like. I also pulled out this e.l.f. Bite Size Brow Palette and it's in the color Dark Brown. It comes with some cream eye products, like some waxes and then the two dark brown colors. So we're going to use this for the brows along with the other items and hopefully we have a good brow month. Okay, friend, here are the eyeshadow palettes. I have them all laid out here. I think I'm just gonna show you the Patrick Ta one first because it has that, that packaging, that reflective packaging and I don't want it to throw the lighting off any more than it probably already is. So it is the Dimension 2. That's what it looks like. Let me open it and then um, I'll show you. I just do not, this packaging, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't do right with the camera, but this is what it looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And we are going to swatch them. This is not anything new. I'm looking at it, comparing it to this palette now. Do they look anything alike? I don't know, but this color is looking kind of like this color. I don't know. Let's do some swatches, okay? I'm going to swatch a few mattes. Oh, the, the, the formula, okay? It's just so buttery and, oh, friend. This palette costs a lot of money, okay? It is quite expensive, but look at it, friend. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it because the the quality of the... You finna see, friend, I'm about to show you, okay? I'm about to show you. Let me just swatch. Do you see how gorgeous that is? Oh my goodness, friend. Look how gorgeous those colors are, like gorgeous 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 i want to swatch one more matte one um let's go with this one and oh my goodness it is so gorgeous this is just a couple of the colors swatched let me zoom in so you can see up close beautiful 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 i cannot wait to do a look with these. We're gonna move on to the next palette. This is the Rimmel London Magnifying Eyes, the Crimson Edition. This is supposed to be a dupe to, I think, the Naked Cherry. I'm not sure. One of the Naked palettes is supposed to be a dupe to it. I have used this once before. Um, but now that I have the Patrick Ta, I feel like it's kind of a dupe to that one. So I don't know. We're going to swatch it and we're going to see. Um, I want to swatch some colors that look kind of like these colors. So I know I want to swatch this dark one here. And let's see if it looks anything like that one. Oh no, friend. that They look in real kind of kind of dupish what do you think are they looking dupish okay let me swatch a few more um let me swatch this one am i in frame i don't know i'm all over the place i'm getting excited okay that one's cute can you see i hope you can see it friend okay let me swatch a couple of more and then we're gonna move on because this video is already gonna be so long i hope you like long videos because it's long it's a long video but this is what the colors are looking like in this palette absolutely gorgeous 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 um, i'm excited to give this a try next one i got is the violet voss rose party or rose parte <laughs> this is what the palette looks like she is gorgeous gorgeous she looks so soft and so pretty and just so girly and we're gonna swatch a glitter oh so pretty and then we'll swatch one of these mattes 
I don't know if this is going to give a true indication. My arm is still a little wet, but let's just see. Oh, she looked just so pretty. Just so pretty and girly. Okay, I like the formulation in this palette. Violet Boss is pretty good. I got these on sale at Sephora, and I am liking the, the texture, the formula. I'm liking these. Okay, I'm mixing colors at this point, but you get the idea, friend. Look how gorgeous these colors are. So pretty. Let me try to zoom in so you can see. So pretty. I'm excited and happy to have this one pulled out for the month. But um, let me just zoom in up close so you can see. Again, this is what the colors look like in this palette. Gorge, gorge. Okay, last two palettes that we have here, the Morphe and the Anastasia. Let me go ahead and show you the Morphe. The Morphe was the one that made me even wanna go with purple, what the colors look like. So pretty. Let me do some swatches. Let me just do a few swatches so we can see what it looks like. So pretty, so pretty. Um, the formula is not as, oh, that brown is pretty. The color nonetheless, friend. Nonetheless, it's so pretty. Look at those colors. So pretty. That brown, that brown is nice. Okay, that is nice. I like that brown. Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be a good last one. The last one is the Anastasia Narvina palette. Is there a mirror? There is a mirror. Okay, let me try to cover the mirror up. This is what the Anastasia Narvina palette looks like. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. Isn't she gorgeous? She is gorgeous. Let's do some swatches, okay? Of course, I need to go in with a purple. We're gonna go in with Celestial. The formulation, it feels so soft and so buttery. We're gonna go in with Dreamer. So this is Celestial. So pretty. This is Dreamer. Did you see Dreamer, friend? Dreamer just went on so pretty, so pretty. We're gonna try Eccentric. And then we're gonna try Soul, okay, that blue. That brown, that is a beautiful brown. That's gonna be a good transition color for me. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's go in with Soul. And this is what Soul looks like. Pretty. I won't probably wear that blue because I'm looking more for pinks and purples, but I just wanted to swatch it and it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. A couple of things I pulled out for eyes as these two. One is the Milani Shadow Eyes and um, it's just like an eye pencil. And here is what it looks like. Just pretty. Just to use some other things in my collection, maybe I can do the um, bottom lash line with that. That's what it looks like. And then this LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow and it's in the color Wink. Just a pretty little purple eyeshadow is what Wink looks like. It look, It's looking, you know, it's like pink and purple and, you know, just to give your, your eyeshadow a little pop and glitter, you know, shimmer. So yeah, this is the eyeshadows. Let's move on to the blush. Okay, now moving on to the blushes. I picked out quite a few blushes for the month and I think I am in love with them all. I stuck with the same color scheme, the pinks and the purples. So I'm gonna swatch the pink ones first. We'll move the purple ones over a little bit. And then these are the pinks that I pulled out. Let me do this e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush first because I'm not sure how pink it's going to be. It looks pink, but it might come off a little burgundy-ish. So we shall see. It's in the color St. Bart. Um, this is what it's looking like. Um, okay. 
it's um it's pinky i see it it's more of a magenta i don't know but i'm okay with it i'm okay with it as long as it's not like brown or terracotta i'm okay with it um i have the hardest time getting these clothes let me see so i think i'm okay with um it being that color that's pink enough for me and plus it shears out if you keep blending so i'm okay with that let's move on to the morphe this is in wild wine here is what wild wine looks like and um the angle is probably not a good angle but let's swatch it and see what it looks like is giving is giving the same thing this elf gave mm, what do you think about that friend i mean it's kind of looking like the elf without the shimmer without the luminous in the elf luminous putty blush it's kind of looking like the same one but no lumi okay that's fine that's fine let's see what fenty has for us this is the fenty and the colors are peony Droppa and Malibu's. You guys have seen this one during the holiday. And let me just show you just in case. Have not seen it. That's what it looks like. And then let me give it a swatch. And we're going to see. We're going to see what we think about it. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, that is what they're looking like. Zooming in so you can see. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay with all of them. Um, yeah, I'm okay with them. I was thinking they were going to look more bubblegumish pink, but they don't. And I'm okay because these are more like colors I'm used to working with. So, so far, so good for the blushes. Okay, the last three blushes that we are going to go with, they're all in the purple family. This was the blush that started it all. It is the blush from Milani, and it's in Fantastical Mauve. And when I swatched this, it just took me down on this whole purple frenzy that I'm on. And I don't really know how much purple it even gives once you swatch it out. But in the packaging, it was just gorgeous. Do you see how gorgeous that is, friend? So let's just swatch it and see. Ooh, so far, mm, it's looking pretty to me, friend. It's looking real pretty to me. That is what it's looking like. And I am okay with that color. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Oh, uh, ooh. okay. I'm gonna I'm, I'm ready I might I might do some makeup tonight okay because it's so pretty last two um, is the cover FX and it's in sweet mulberry and then the Mac in breath of plum let's watch the Mac and see what breath of plum is giving us and this is what it looks like I hope my fingers are dry enough to swatch and okay breath of plum did i just poke my finger in it i didn't okay um let's see what it's giving us okay is that a sheer tone let me see it is a sheer tone okay that's what it's looking like let me see if i can build it up a little bit and um yeah I'm okay with that because we're going to have pink and purple on the eyes and the lips. I don't need everything to be so boom, boom, boom in your face. So I'm okay with that. That's giving me just enough color. That's what it looks like up close. I am so pleased. So pleased. Let's see what this one is giving us. This is the cover effect. So let's just swatch both of these. My fingers are so stained. So stained. But we're going to keep going and... Get this last one done. So this is the shimmer color. Oh my goodness, Fred, that is so pretty. So, so pretty. This is what it looks like. I am so happy. I have never worn a blush like this. Um, yeah, I have never worn any blushes with like a purple undertone. So I'm excited to see how well it plays 
with my skin tone, how well I can match it up with an eyeshadow and lippy. That's gonna be it, friend, for the Shop My Stash video. If you have not subscribed to the channel and just come in through, please take a moment and subscribe. I would love to have you. I am on the road to 500 subscribers. Then I'm moving on to try to get those thousand subscribers. So if you like Shop My Stash videos, there will definitely be more coming your way. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what type of videos you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.